Every now and then you need to create a PDF, like a work for hire agreement or have somebody sign something, maybe an invoice, things like that. And to do it all manually, you know, takes a little bit of time, especially if you're doing this often. I suggest learning how to use Airtable, which is my favorite like home-based tool to collect data, store all your data in it. And then when you need to create a PDF or form, you can, you can do it quickly and automatically using an automation and a program called Document. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. My name is Zion and I'm the founder of the Get Known Strategy and Service. If you are a content creator, like a podcaster or YouTube uh, video curator or a blogger, and you are tired of doing all the nuts and bolts of getting your stuff out there and the social media and the emails and all the, all the work that goes into creating a podcast, all you want to do is just create content. Check us out because what we do is we service people just like you. So all you do is focus on your content and uh, you stay in your zone of genius. So to illustrate what this video is all about, I want to show you what I do with Airtable. So I happen to be the music director for a YouTube channel called Lo-Fi Panda Music. And we have producers and guys that work for us and contractors because we outsource some of the work. Sometimes I make my make the music for the channel. Sometimes I just mix it. Sometimes I outsource the whole thing. It depends on how much time I have. So if I'm hiring a producer, let's say my buddy Gino here, I'm going to hire him to produce a song. What I do is after he's put together five songs for me, I want to have... I want to send him a work for hire agreement because he's giving over the rights to that music to me for payment. So that's a work for hire. So I worked with an attorney to create a PDF form that has the right information in it. So I want to basically just populate that form and say, Hey, for these five songs, you're giving me the rights to that for money. So the cool thing is, is I can create that really quickly. I add in a new uh, line item. It's kind of like a row. They call it a record in Airtable. I add my producer and then I go in and add the songs and I can clear that out and show you what that looks like. So what I do is I say, I want to attach these songs here and this is going to go onto the form. And then when I'm ready and I've filled out everything, I've put the date I want in for the invoice or the uh, work for hire in this case. I'm going to hit the create agreement button and in just a moment it's going to create a PDF file and put it right in here and watch. I'll give it a second. There it goes. It's pretty fast. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. So it's a work for hire agreement. It's a PDF form. It's got the date, the producer, my company. It's got this production and it has the terms of this agreement. And at the, at the very end, it's got a signature. I, I've already filled out the signature. It's got the date in there. It's a place for him to fill out his signature and send back to me. And then the schedule A, at the very end of it, it's got uh, an area to actually list all the songs or the pieces of uh, work that he did. So it's all listed there as well. And it's really slick. And then he can send that back to me. And I can put it in my database and send him. I can actually send an email from Airtable as well that I've automated. And then when he signs it and sends it back, it'll go back in here and then I'll pay him. And this keeps everything very, very organized. Now, the scope of this video is not to show you exactly how to set all this up. That would be too complicated for this video. But I'm going to link a video below if you're familiar with Airtable exactly how to do this. My buddy Gareth has a video that he did this a couple weeks ago on exactly how to do this, or maybe it was this last week. And it uses this program called document document with an I is a, just a really, you basically create a template of the PDF you want. And then it takes the variables from your air table and you plug it in where you want. And then it creates the document. And when you attach it to Airtable, it, you never have to ever leave Airtable. I never have to actually go into document at all. It's really, really, really cool. If you're brand new to Airtable, you've never used Airtable before. I have a mini course, a 10 part mini course that's free. That'll help you get started with Airtable and how to use it. And if you click below, you can get access to that as well, or through our website. I strongly suggest learning Airtable. It'll solve a thousand issues you have and really keeps track of all kinds of data issues. I run my entire business businesses from Airtable. 
Okay, guys, that's it for this week. I hope that helped you. If it did, send me a note back or hit the like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We need to build up our subscribers. And so I'm calling out to you guys. So if you find this useful, if you find this kind of video useful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Zion, and I will see you next week.